I'm here at the American Legion Pose 63 this morning for the Challenge 22 5 kilometer Ruck Walk. This walk is to bring awareness to the national epidemic of veteran suicide. You can see that already early in the morning things are well underway. Lots of people have arrived for the event. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Gottschalk. I'm a member of Air, uh, the American Post 63 out here in Winter Garden, Florida. Uh, the Challenge 22 Ruck Walk is today. Uh, it'll be a focus on PTSD and suicide prevention and awareness. Uh, we're really focused uh, on identifying and helping veterans. The overall hashtag that we're working towards is 22 until zero. The idea is that we can stop veteran suicides and that would be a, a monumentous task. So many veterans come out and come back from the war uh, just messed up and not having the idea or the resources or the motivation to go and get help and it becomes too late. Uh, some of the things that we'll be focusing on today is addressing and identifying some of our heroes, World War II veterans. We also have some of our Korean War veterans who've all come out and participated. The idea is that we'll be doing this 5k walk around downtown Winter Garden and it's an excellent experience to be able to participate specifically for me is that I get to work with VIP so I get to meet up and uh, just get to talk and share my time with the folks who'll be speaking on stage, uh, as well as anyone who's actively or uh, who did serve in the wars. Thank you. awareness to the world that our veterans are going through situations that are causing them to kill themselves at an alarming rate. Father, it is not natural, it is not normal for man to want to do himself in. This is brought on by situations beyond our control. Last year, I got a memo as the chaplain for the post that said, hey, take a group of people out and go for a walk in honor of the veterans. I was brand new to the post. I didn't know anybody. I got the memo on a Thursday and they wanted us to walk on Saturday. So I walked by myself and said, next year, I'm not doing it alone. I meet Ashley about six months later and she tells me about her dream of bringing younger members into the Legion and these walks that she's doing around the state. Her walks are a little bit more difficult than what we're gonna to face today. She does what they call the 22 with 22 for 22. Start out with 22 veterans walking 22 kilometers, which is 14 miles with 22 kilograms in a pack, which is 50 pounds. It's a long hike and a lot of work. She does them every month around the state. She says, why can't we do that here in Winter Garden? And I said, well, I think it's gonna be hard to get some of the community together that's gonna to actually wanna walk 14 miles with 20, 50 pounds in her back. Well, why don't we do a little 5K walk down the West Orange Trail? So that's where this came from. And you guys are part of something that's big. It's the start of a nationwide campaign that the American Legion is gonna be undertaking to bring awareness to the 22 veterans today who are committing suicide. Because before you go to bed tonight, 22 more vets are not gonna be with us. It's a national epi epidemic that needs to stop. So I'd like to thank Ashley. This has been her dream and my dream together. So thank you for coming out today. For those that don't know, my daughter serves as a Black Hawk pilot in the United States Army. Oh! Wow. Thank you. I'll tell her you said that. <laughs> the reason I bring that up is because I thought I knew about public service. And then I watched my daughter go through training that I would not have done. I watched a little five foot three person do ruck marches with a pack about oh, almost as big as she is, banging in the back of her knees and determined to do her level best, not out of pride, but out of service, out of understanding that she could not afford to be the weak link in any unit, that her brothers and sisters in the military needed to be able to depend on her. I see that out here today. 
I see a whole bunch of people that are in crisis. And I see a whole bunch more that are here to take them by the hand and help them through that crisis. And I thank you for the time you've taken this morning to make sure that you're raising awareness about this, that you're passing the word on about how important it is that we surround these folks with our love as they've given their all for our community. So take a minute right now and feel that pride that you should rightfully feel because you are yet again serving your community in a profound way. My hat's off to you and I thank you so much. It's a beautiful day. Another part of this outreach is the American Legion creating and working new programs to be proactive against these suicides. And I'd like to I present Boots. All right. Service Dogs of Florida certifies that Boots, assigned to Fernando Rivera, has completed over 2,000 hours of individual training as defined by the ADA to assist disabled handler in mobility and PTSD response. Tasks conform above the minimum standards set by Service Dogs of Florida and published standards by Service Dog Schools. It is with full confidence in the dog's abilities that we certify and has passed all three stages of our program and grant the official title of Full Service Dog with ADA Public Access. Boots was sponsored by the American Legion Post number 63, Winter Garden, Florida. leaders. They each have a, a, a flag of the service. So if you want to hang around your flag, you're more than welcome to. Yes, Ashley wants a microphone. Okay, so we're going to point out that we are all Marines. They just got the short straw and had to carry the other flags. Um, so we have on the end, TJ, Brandon, Adrian, Rachel, So the caliber is two by four? Yeah, I got, I got a four by four. All our all medics like carry on Yeah. Well, a little bit more bad at the curl one we have here. I said yes, sir. Still walking. Wow, but there's water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> That's the solution to all your problems. Stay hydrated. <laughs> you're drinking enough water. You're not drinking enough water. That's your problem. Yeah, that and the motion. Yeah. Have you taken your 500 milligrams of naproxen today? Cures all. Cures all. Can't sing any Navy songs in front of family folk. Okay, get going. Yeah, going. Good.
Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs>